In today's video, I want to share a click I got about um, an example or like what is powerfulness? What is a powerful cognition? So I got this amazing example, uh, this click, and I wanted to share with you. Before we get into that, uh, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Um, so this click was basically kind of... Um, Manifesting powers and how when you have knowledge, jnana or vidya, uh, complete knowledge, not uh, like I mentioned in the past, a knowledge which is uh, grabbed intellectually, but uh, knowledge which is grasped as a cognitive level, as a cognition. Um, Swamiji always brings one thought current forward and Swamiji was saying that this thought current is uh, the fundamental of the powerful cognitions of the um, Aghori Sampradaya, which is a lineage of Hinduism, and it's just, it's very simple. You want to do some, you want to do something, simply make it happen. Make it happen, simply, just like that. Just make it happen. Just do it. Just do it. It's very simple, very straightforward. No space for the mind to interfere. No form of powerlessness, self doubt, self hatred, self denial. You want something? Just do it. So make it happen. So in that line, I had a click and I want to share uh, that example with you. See, when you have knowledge, um, how for a normal person, if you say I want an ice cream, how simply you know how to manifest your reality? You want an ice cream? You take the money, you take the car or you walk to the place where they sell ice cream, you purchase ice cream, you put it in your mouth, desire fulfilled. So just like that, how simple it is for you to know how to manifest ice cream in your life. In the same way, somebody who has realized higher uh, frequencies in life or who has um, experienced more subtle planes and dimensions of himself and existence, he simply knows how to leave the body. A yogi, for instance, he knows how to leave the body and how to assume another body. Just like that. With the same clarity and simplicity that a normal man has towards how to manifest an ice cream in his life, a yogi knows how to leave the body in his life. So it's a, it's a, it's a, form, of, it's a form of very uh, pure knowledge uh, which allows us to manifest powers. So when Swamiji is initiating us in manifesting powers, what he's really initiating us into is into higher knowledge. Um, higher knowledge of existence and how it functions. And the more and more we contemplate on the space of manifesting powers, the more we manifest powers, the more, um, you know, you, you chew on these spiritual powerful cognitions. Um, at some point, you know, they just, they click. They just hit you. And it's just so simple. As simple as, you know, how you move your hand. Well, you just decide to move your hand and you move your hand. We don't realize, but it's a decision we make every day, eh, moving your hand. Like we don't, it's so, it's such a quick and subtle happening that we don't even cognize that we are giving instruction or we're making the decision to move our hand. It just happens effortlessly, just like that. So with the same amount of clarity, simplicity, purity, manifesting powers happen when you have a cognitive shift. So it's very important to kind of cognize and dismantle the way we understand us and life. Uh, so that we can start to cognize powerful cognitions. A um, few days back, during the solar eclipse, Swamiji was sharing um, how Devi, which is the Earth itself, is an intelligence. It is an intelligence, and you can simply enter in oneness with it and start to manifest powers. And one of the powers he was mentioning was there you won't be experiencing any form of gravity when you're in oneness with Devi. So when you put your feet on the floor, how you feel the, the impact of the floor, the pressure, the aliveness happening inside your body, the same aliveness is happening on the earth, in the earth, as you're putting your feet on top of the earth. And he was initiating us into, um, into a sloka, which was basically saying that a sloka that you teach um, children that before you go out and walk on earth, you, uh, you kind of offer your completion. 
to the earth because you're going to step on it and you're going to engage with it through your feet. So like that, um, so like that, that connection that we, the, the, you always feel connected to everything around you. Everything is a living energy. Everything is intelligence. And you keep that connection alive in everything that you do. You do not dissociate yourself from everything around you and live in your own shell, in your own bubble and not taking in consideration everything that is around you. And what I'm understanding more and more is that that is one of the fundamental cognition you need to cherish to start to manifest powers. Because you need to keep that connection alive, that oneness alive, that friendliness alive. Even now, if I'm sitting on a bench, I should not cognize it as just dead matter which I'm just using for a purpose. It is energy, it is life. And it, intelligence is also flowing through it. In the, some of the slokas I'm, uh, I, I've released recently on the Nityananda Nyana Padadi, they're saying consciousness is filling everything. Everything is filled with consciousness. And when you constantly contemplate on that, what does it mean everything is filled with consciousness? It means the same amount of life, aliveness, if not more, actually more, but because we are not fully experiencing our own aliveness, but how much alive you feel in your body, the same amount of life and more is also in everything around you. And keeping that connection alive is very important. And when we do that, at some point, there's a cognitive shift in us and we start to manifest powers. How? Just like that. Just simply, you just manifest powers, that's all. And it's no big deal. It's just, it's just a space of oneness with everything around you. When, you, when we get out of our kind of selfish zone where we feel separate and we feel threatened by everything around us and therefore become insensitive to everything around us, when that barrier drops and the completion, the oneness, the friendliness radiates more and more, then we simply manifest powers. So uh, that's what I want to share in this video with you. Um, if you have any questions or any experiences, any clicks regarding that also, please share in the comments below like subscribe thanking you for watching these videos again again and again um, the description below a lot of nice content that will enrich you and uh, with this i am going to see you in the next video